Breaking news this morning and Curiosity is a smashing success. The NASA Mars rover touched down this morning right there on the red planet. A daring mission with more to come. The landing capped a journey that lasted more than eight months and covered more than 350 miles. Now the small craft called Curiosity will begin the work of answering some of the biggest mysteries of space. And for the scientists behind the mission, look at that. The landing was a moment <laughs> of pure joy. A thrilling conclusion to a lot of tension. Yeah, they had a reason to party, that's for sure. <laughs> and now for the latest on this very costly mission, let's go right to the Jet Propulsion Lab in Pasadena. ABC's Clayton Sandell is live at the Nerve Center for this mission. Clayton, good morning. And can you give us an idea of how complicated this landing was? Good morning, Rob and Sonny. Yeah, there are some very excited Mars geeks here th <laughs> tonight. And I mean that in the very best possible way. But yeah, the Mars Curiosity rover still... is not only on the ground, it's already sending back pictures. Take a look at these pictures. We've got at least a couple photos already from uh, from the surface of planet Mars. and. Really, there was so much that could have gone wrong in this landing. This was a complicated landing using technologies that NASA had never tried before. And one thing that I learned, which I thought was fascinating, is that scientists were able to test in pieces all of the things they needed to do this landing. But because Mars and Earth have such different atmospheres, they were never able to test it all together. So really, the first time that this has all been tested together, that it's all actually happened was tonight on the surface of Mars. And Clayton, obviously this was a huge moment. You saw the footage there of the NASA folks celebrating. Now that it's there, kind of what is the next step? Where do we go from here? Well, over the next uh, few days, they tell us they're going to do kind of a, a health checkout with Curiosity. They have to kind of get it online and make sure all the systems are functioning properly. So far, uh, all is all is good. Um, in the next few days, we should start to see some some high resolution pictures, some nice color pictures, even some high definition video from the landing and from the rover itself. So we'll start to get some of that. And then in the next few weeks, Curiosity will start to uh, go around this crater that it landed in, this uh, the Gale Crater, which scientists believe was once filled with water. And of course, that is one of the building blocks of life. So they are looking for the signs that this area might have been habitable for life either in the past, maybe in the present. Uh, and then it will also scoot around this gigantic three mile high hill in the middle of this crater, looking for all sorts of uh, geologic clues to uh, Mars's past. Thanks to ABC's Clayton Sandell reporting live uh, for us from Pasadena. In the middle of the action, thanks again, Clayton. And our coverage of the Mars rover does not end here. We will have updates later on America This Morning, also on Good Morning America as well. There is some in-depth background you can find on all of this. Just check out our website at abcnews.com. Fascinating story. Yes.